Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to provide a quick oversight as to what a non-canonical page is. So a non-canonical page, we show this in our reporting feature um, of our SEO tools. Now there's a lot of information to cover here, but if we um, collapse the uh, summary and indexation section and look specifically at the canonicals, you'll see the second one down is non-canonical pages. This has a little green icon next to it to say that it's all good. Um, this is really is down to your manual review. If uh, you've got non-canonical pages that you think should be canonical, then obviously that's something that you'd need to change, but there's no way for us to know that, so uh, typically we'll say non-canonical non pages are fine. So what does it mean to be a non-canonical page? So if we go to a website, such as our own website, and uh, we look at the uh, source code of this site, and we look uh, for a uh, canonical um, there we go we can see this is the uh, canonical tag and we've got link rel equals in quotation marks canonical and then we've got the uh, URL of that site now that URL there exactly matches the page that we just came from and so because that and the URL of the page that we are on match completely that makes it a canonical URL now, if we look at non-canonical URLs, of which here, if we click on this number, it will show us all of the non-canonical non URLs. Um, we have uh, the home page here, but this is because it doesn't have a trailing slash. Um, in this chart, you can see the URL of the page that's non-canonical, status code of that page, and the uh, canonical URL. We also have information about whether this page is in the sitemap, whether it's indexable, um, and if you go to this page, for example, um, in a new browser, uh, we click page source, look for canonical, and then we can see that this does not match what we should see in the crawler. So any page that does not have a self-referential canonical tag will be considered non-canonical. Now this can include a whole range of things. So if your site was to re be recently moved to HTTPS and all of the canonical tags on the old site used HTTP within the canonical reference, uh, all of the pages on your site would be non-canonical. Non Google's fairly good at working this out, uh, but it's still very bad practice and could cause some indexation issues. Non-canonical non pages can also be a whole range of other things, such as uh, landing pages that you're using for paid advertising campaigns or any other type of marketing. Uh, typically a non-canonical page falls into two categories. It's either a canonical duplicate because it doesn't include a www or it does include the, the HTTPS or it may not include a trailing slash. Um, all of these are really just the way in which you're trying to access or, or make one, one page accessible from just a single URL rather than multiples. Um, the other, the other reason why a non-canonical page um, would be such is because the uh, content on that page is largely or entirely taken from the content of another page. Um, sometimes you have reason on your site to use large chunks of content from pages that are either somewhere else on your site or on another site completely. And so adding a canonical tag to the head section of the uh, non-canonical page specifying the canonical version just lets Google know that that is the canonical version of the page and it's ultimately down to them which of those pages they decide to show in the search results although typically it's going to be the, the uh, canonical page. Well thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video I look forward to seeing you next time.